In this video, I'm going to show you the basic setups of Mastercam and the geometry part orientation. Those who doesn't have the Mastercam, the download link is given on the description. After opening the Mastercam, check here the units are set up properly. So if it is set up wrong, go to file, then the configuration. Here, from this drop down menu, you can select the right input. So I have selected here metric on my startup and also enable the auto save options for your master cam. So enable auto save and set your frequency. I'm going to set here as 5 minutes for my saving interval. Also tick this option for saving the file after each every operation. So every toolpath you create it will automatically save click OK and continue then save it if this toolpath window is not displaying for you just go to view menu then enable toolpath here also enable solids levels so here I have toolpath solids and level interface windows also I gonna enable this show axis from the view menu here I could see the axis orientation so if I right click and take isometric view I could see the origin machine data here I'm gonna open a part file isometric view now I could identify that the view orientation is wrong I need to align the part according to the origin axis for that I'm gonna use transform translate to plane under the translate option here I will select all the solid bodies and say end selection now from here my source should be backside and backside should be translated to top go select back and destination is top instead of copy I'll click on move now the part orientation is properly done click OK I'll enable the transparency now I could find that axis is somewhere down so I'm gonna use top face center reference for this geometry so I'll go to wireframe and bounding box so I'll create a bounding box for this solid and selection so from these options I'm gonna activate face center points also click OK now you can see all the face center points are enabled and followed by the bounding box geometry here I'll use transform move to origin and I'm gonna select top face center and that is now move to the origin now my part is ready for creating the tool path the 3d model file is available on the description hope you enjoy this tutorial subscribe for more